I can't believe it's been over a year, but I'm happy to be back and pick up where we left off. Absolutely. And one of the things that I want to talk about, like just, you know, talking about your new book sure. is a lot of, you know, individuals in the health and wellness community. I even lump myself in there mm. is um, a big challenge that people have is they feel like if they look a certain way and they get to that level of the way they want to look, they're like, you know, chiseled, rock solid abs, mm. you know, huge chest. If you're a guy or if you're a girl, like, you know, big booty, toned legs. But then on the other side of that, so physically, you might look and feel a certain way. You're like, oh, wow, I feel great. But mentally, internally, you're you're like, oh, my God, like, I look I look great. I feel great. But mentally, I feel out of sync. So can you speak a little bit to that of like, you know, sure. how, you know, the health of wellness space, it's, you know, yeah, they encourage like positive habits, healthy eating, regular mm -hmm. movement. But mm -hmm. sometimes what gets often what gets neglected is the mental component. Yeah, you know, get off the scale and heal is centered around the concept of just because you look well doesn't necessarily mean that you are well. You know, if we think about it, a lot of us also want to look a specific way. Yes, because it might be something that we aspire to, but it's also a way that we want to be perceived and we want people to think that we, because we look a certain way, that we have it all together. So the whole premise of the book is really taking the time to make sure that you understand the motivations behind your wellness habits and that they are coming from a healthy place.